Hello friends, today we will bring you one of the best South Korean thriller movie, Door Lock, released in 2018. Throughout this movie, it will give you a real cinematic experience you have never had before. Door Lock is directed by Lee Kwan and it is based on the 2011 Spanish movie Sleep Tight. The story in short, Kyung Min is a young woman living on her own in a small apartment. Until the murder incident occurs in her room, she has no idea that a stranger is hiding under her bed. She starts investigating on her own, and realizes she's not safe. Who will be hiding under her bed? Can she find him? Before going to the video, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon and share with your friends. The movie begins with a young woman returning to her room after work, and when she opens her door, it is totally dark as the power has gone. She tries to correct it using her phone light, but she feels someone is hiding in the room and tries to find it. Suddenly, a hooded man attacks her from behind. The next scene begins with a man sleeping next to a young woman in bed. He wakes up at 4 in the morning from the alarm, watches her sleep, and leaves. After a few hours, she wakes up from a deep sleep and feels dizzy and unwell every morning. She ignores this and starts her everyday life as usual. Kyung Min is an average woman, who lives alone in a one-room apartment. She works as a bank clerk and her contract period is about to end, but she has been recommended for a service extension. Her best friend, Hoju, also works in the same place but lives in a different apartment. One morning, when Kyung Min was going to close the door, she notices the door lock case was open and there were unknown fingerprints on the keypads. Immediately paranoid Kyung Min, promptly whips off the fingerprints on the door lock pad and changes the password. But on the same day, when she returns to her place after work, she notices the door lock cover is open again. However, before she goes to sleep, she hears someone knocking on the door and continues to enter the wrong code. She sees that there is no one behind the door, but finds cigarette buds. Startled by this, Kyung Min calls the police. She is disregarded by the police because they think it is merely a trivial case of minor disturbances, and she often makes such complaints. While getting quite frustrated about this, she tries to keep working as usual at her workplace. While dealing with a customer, she starts to give him information on the products that the bank offered that could benefit the customer. After realizing he doesn't have sufficient money in the bank, suddenly, Kyung Min stops selling him product information, which was noticed by the customer, and he became angry and started harassing Kyung Min. Her handsome senior officer, Kim Song Ho, intervenes with this and calls the security guards to take the customer, Kim Ji Ai Zhang, away. After disturbing events in the bank, while sleeping soundly that night, a person comes out from below her bed and touches her face with some liquid. When she is going right into a deep sleep, he sleeps next to Kyung Min. After a few days, when she comes to the bus stop after the overtime, she misses the night bus. At that time, the angry customer, Kim Ji Ai, approaches her and begins to harass her. Then her senior officer, Kim Sung, arrives at the place and saves her from this trouble. 
he gives Kyung Min a lift to her apartment. When she arrived at the room, as usual, the electricity was off. While she is correcting it, Kim Sung knocks on her door to return her purse she left in the car. Kim Sung enters her room and fixes the electricity fault. She suspects her senior officer and quickly comes out of the room and calls the police. When they accompany her and open the door of the room, they find Kim Sung dead. Here, Kyung Min becomes a suspect in the murder of her senior officer and she also loses her job in the bank. Detective Lee believes her roommate may be involved in this murder. However, they were unable to find any roommates despite some indications. Since they don't have any proof against Kyung Min herself, she is presumed innocent. The police unable to find the murderer, and Kyung Min starts investigating on her own, realizing she's not safe and that the police are not to be trusted. While she is cleaning her place, she finds a door lock sensor card under her cupboard. She searches the entire building's doors to identify which one belongs to which room and finally finds it works in the room right above hers. She enters and starts investigating. There she sees the image of a missing lady, Xiong Hai, and gets some documents belongs to her. Kyung Min and Hoju try to track down the suspect using credit card documents. Using the information obtained there, Kyung Min and Hoju chase one lady until Kyung Min's attention is drawn to the terrible garbage house. The garbage house door lock is the same as the apartment door lock, and Kyung Min tries to open the door by guessing many numbers. Finally, it opens for Kyung Min's apartment door lock combination. She enters the house alone and looks around, and in one of the inner rooms, she finds an unconscious young lady tied to her bed. Kyung Min hastens to call the police, and as a man tries to open the door, Kyung Min quickly hides under the bed. The man enters the room, and injects her with a drug, after which he prepares to slit her wrist. Shocking Kyung Min tries to leave the house silently, but the man finds out and chases her. When a man tries to attack Kyung Min, Hoju knocks him down. With this, the police also arrive and the man escapes. <laughs> After some investigation, the police found Seung Hai's corpse with Kyung Min's business card. Kim Ji-i is arrested by Detective Lee, but Kim Ji-i declares that he's not a killer. In the meantime, Kyung Min changes her apartment. After a few investigations, the police declares Kim Ji-i innocent. On the same night, Kyung Min receives a video call from Hoju's phone, and there she realizes Hoju is under attack by the killer. Immediately Kyung Min runs to Hoju's apartment, and there she is attacked by Kim Ji-i. Kyung Min and Ki Young are rescued by police intervention, and Ki Young is hospitalized with minor injuries. At the hospital, Detective Lee gives Kyung Min a camera that looks like a toy penguin. She places it on a shelf in front of her bedroom door and connects it to her smartphone. When she's at the grocery store, she meets her previous apartment janitor, Han Dong-hoon. She is disturbed by the conversation with him and some of the incidents that take place. She immediately goes to her room and turns on all the locks. Meanwhile, Detective Lee informs her that Kim Ji-i was killed by someone after being released from custody and that the killer is still free. Agitated Kyung Min checks the hidden cam footage, and she realizes Dong Hoon is entering her room and hiding beneath her bed. Kyung Min tries to run, but Dong Hoon catches her. In the meantime, 
police investigations identified the disappearance of Dong Hoon after killing Kim Ji Ai and the place he used near the lake. When Kyung Min wakes up, Dong Hoon gives her an anesthetic to weaken her body, and she finds she is in a strange place. Dong Hoon threatens to cut off her limbs if she tries to escape in any way. When Dong comes closer, she attacks him and hides in another room. Meanwhile, Detective Lee enters the house where Kyung Min was abducted. Dong Hoon picks up an axe and attacks Detective Lee. During the fight, Dong Hoon manages to kill Detective Lee. Kyung Min tries to shoot using Detective Lee's gun, but it doesn't work. Then she tries to run away while Dong Hoon grabs onto her. At the same time, the closet nearby falls on the two of them, and a large nail in it passes through Dong Hoon's hand. They are both trapped inside the closet, and he tries to strangle and kill Kyung Min, even though he is in severe pain. Immediately Kyung Min pushes Dong Hoon into a row of nails above his head. Dong Hoon dies on the spot while looking at her. The movie ends with a news report that Kyung Min has been declared innocent. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you for watching. See you soon with a new movie. Thank you.